Hey peeps, it's your boy Rory, and today I am doing Escape the Night Season 3, Saddest Deaths. I have my little paper note here, and I will be reading them out, but before we do that, we have to do honourable mentions for Season 3. And that is Matt, because he got revived, and then Calliope and Mortimer, because they aren't guests. So they are the honourable mentions, and then we have... Um, yeah, um, okay, so we have seven people, so at place number seven, uh, seven, and um, we have Tila because it was, it, it was kind of deserved, <laughs> sorry, um, I know there are a few Tila stands out there, so sorry, but she literally, I think I can remember one thing she did. She helped, her and Roy found the Lazarus box, but that's, like, the only thing she helped to do. So, she is at that, her death was probably really painful, but not that sad. Sorry. Um, but at number six, we have Jesse. Um, for some people, six and five are very close, but for me, this was a clear six, Favoritism, yes. <laughs> um, but Jesse's death was sadder than Tila's because he was actually really helpful that episode. Um, but the death itself wasn't that sad at all. He just got stabbed. Um, but it was still it was still sad because he was he was like the most helpful person at that point. Um, and then at number five we have Roy. People think Jesse and Roy are really close um together but um i think jesse is a clear six and roy is a clear five favoritism yes <laughs> but roy sacrificed himself for the group like he didn't have to pull that block but he did and it's just so sad well not it's not the most sad but it's still sad so sadder than jesse's so yes um for number Four, um, I know that some people will get upset with me for this one, but I have Sophia. Sophia's death was, it made me, I've said this before, but it made, it made me mad instead of sad. The main emotion I felt was anger and I was like screaming at my phone. I was like, no, 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 no. But at least it wasn't Ro. <laughs> that was that was the only thing I was saying. I was saying, no, no, no. At least it wasn't Roe. At least it wasn't Roe. Um, but it made me really angry. Um, more angry than sad. So that's why she's number four. But at number three, getting into the final three, we have Manny. Manny's death was sadder than Sophia's only because, only because it was Manny versus Nikita again. They had already faced each other and they both lived. Um, but and they were best friends so it was really sad for nikita to have to shoot manny it was so sad because nikita had to kill her best friend and manny was begging for his life and yes but at number two this is a very very um this I'm filming video. this is a very very like i don't know how to say it but like people are either going to be agreeing or really mad at this but at number two it was, was actually really close um and yes um at number two it is colleen colleen's death was traumatizing sad and scary just like it was like living justine's death again watching justine's death again she was screaming begging for her life but they still threw her in there she shouldn't have died that episode we all know at that point she probably was the least help most helpful player but she called out joey and she was right joey was joey literally signed a contract that his friends would die if he, if he, to come back to life his friends would need to die and he signed the contract instead of being like no nine lives for one nope 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 it was just like oh i get to come back okay kill all my friends it was just so sad. Um, but at number one, we have Ro, of course. Um, Ro is my number one um, favorite character of Escape the Night, any season. And But her death was also so sad. Like, 
her last words were i love you that was so sad and her little scream at the end the candle she knocked over it was all just so sad um but yes peeps i hope you liked this video if you did like subscribe and i'll see you peeps next time good bye